perception and reputation of humanitarian actors and action. Armed groups know us more than we know ourselves. I will quote an armed group leader without mentioning his name, who told me, you come, you go, but we stay and observe you. Lack of organizational memory, high turnovers are big challenges when it comes to create the good conditions for systematic engagement. The way parties to conflict perceive your actions on the ground is critical. Even if you believe it's unfair, you have to understand their own realities. Geneva Cole did several field-based studies on the subject, and it all comes to the same recommendation when you ask armed groups on the ground. Principled action and not deviating from the proclaimed mission and mandate are seen as key by local actors, civilian and armed groups. Negotiating and engaging are not part-time jobs that you can do on the side. They should be the backbone of a protection and material strategy. Strategic and systematic engagement needs to be done with a mid-term and long-term approach. We consider three to five years the mid-term uh, strategic engagement that we have a particular group. Designing, implementing, and streamlining a strong and holistic engagement strategy should be done by organizations that uh, are willing and able to um, access those hard to reach areas. And to finish, bringing on board your governance and top management to make sure that there is a political and institutional buy-in that you want and need to engage with armed groups on the ground. Don't be the Don Quixote of your organization fighting alone. Include uh, all the people that need to be included in this, uh, in this fight. Thank you very much.